Hey guys, I'm here with the Top NACA two to three person four season backpacking tent, and uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, it comes in this nice little uh, compression sack, and in it are all the pieces that you would need. Here are uh, here is the ground mat. Here are the tent stakes, I believe. Uh, here are the tent poles. This is the tent itself, and then inside of it here I have the rain fly. Um, and I love this tent because it is so incredibly easy to put together. Um, and to demonstrate that to you, I'm going to put it together right now. But I'm going to time lapse it so it doesn't take forever. Alright, so as you can see here, I finished building it. It only took me a couple of minutes. Um, the part that took me the longest actually was um, finding two things to put inside of it at these back corners because uh, when I built it outside, I had those corners staked out to give you some more room. Um, but I, when I recorded the video, I had some audio issues. So I'm building it in my living room now, so I have a more... Uh, conducive environment for filming as far as sound is concerned. That being said, I'm going to give you a quick peek inside and to give you a little bit of an idea of how much room you have in there. So this is about how much room you have in here and again if you had this properly staked down like I currently don't you'd have even more room uh, and this is this is plenty for one person and all of your gear so if you're hiking alone this would be a perfect tent for you. Uh, if I lie down, you can see that, uh, you know, I barely take up half of it, so a second person would fit in here, especially once you get it properly staked down. Um, two people could fit in here, no problem. For me, it would have to be someone I'm really close to, uh, but if you're not as, uh, uncomfortable sleeping, like, probably touching the person next to you, then that's no problem. Uh, but fitting two people and gear in here might be a little bit tricky. Might have to go between your legs or something, but uh, one person and gear is not a problem at all. There's plenty of room in here for that. Um, the material on the bottom is this. It's nice. It feels kind of thick and sturdy. I think it's nylon. It's the same on the edges, and this mesh is, is really fine, so it will be able to keep out any bugs that you might be worrying about. It also allows a bit of a breeze to come through, which is important for me because I'm a really warm sleeper. Uh, so it being uh, light like that is uh, a benefit to me. I'm actually kind of getting a little bit warm in here right now. I don't even have the rain fly on. Uh, there is a rain fly that I didn't put on because it would make it a lot more difficult to film this exact thing that I'm doing. Uh, but if you are like me and you are a really warm sleeper, there's another feature to this which I think is really cool. I did not know about it until I got it. Uh, but if you remember the ground mat that I pointed out earlier, that ground mat um, has the same holes in it that will hold this uh, Y bar and that can be the bottom of your tent and then you cannot use this tent and just put the rain fly over the Y bar uh, and you'll have like a little miniature version of this. It'll be about the same size but it'll be a lot lighter. Um, you'll be a lot less protected from the elements so um, it'll be really good for like the dead of summer, like when it is super hot outside, because um, you'll be able to get some airflow in and out of your tent a lot easier. You'll have to deal with more bugs that way, um, but if you're like me every year, I go on a camping trip through Tennessee in the middle of June, so um, I've been trying to find a way to keep cool during that, and I think next June, this ground mat and rain fly combo is gonna be the way that I do it. Uh, so overall, I'm very impressed with this tent. It is definitely my new tent that I take backpacking and hiking um, because, it, I mean, it's light, it's simple, uh, it's easy to use, and it was pretty cheap. So uh, I, it comes heavily recommended for me, not that I'm an authority on the subject or anything, uh, but this is a really solid tent, and I don't think you'll be disappointed with your purchase.